Awesome. We're here with Vladimir Deshin and uh, our lovely translator. What's your name? Kate. Kate. So she's going to help us talk about the race with Vladimir. So it was an interesting race, though. You were not the leader uh, throughout the race, and there were many lead. There were many direction changes. How did you decide which line to take? Ну, я марафон плаваю, поэтому, то есть, уже не первый раз плыл и видел определенно, ну, выбрал ориентиры определенные, плыл по четко направленной линии, ну, прямо. I'm uh, the one who is specializing in marathon uh, swimming. That's why uh, I knew exactly where I was going. So I had some places in my mind. So I saw those places, and I was going directly towards the finish. So Chloe, you just won again, your second year in the row. Tell us, how are you feeling? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was. Oh, so much fun. I love open water so much. That was amazing. Well, we saw that Callan was there with you right on the end there. Tell us, what was going through your head as you, you know, crossed the finish line? How did you, how did you finish out? Um, well, I, I was swimming behind my teammate, Charlie Rinkus, and I looked behind me, and I knew that Callan had a maroon cap on, and I saw a maroon cap, and I was like, oh my gosh, I started freaking out, and I was trying to position myself, and the guys were, like, pushing me over there, and then when I saw her a little bit ahead of me, when I stood up, I flipped out. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to hurry, so I just ran as hard as I could, and I passed the finish line. Oh, so you were, uh, you were leading the pack right off the bat, and you, you kind of took them off to the right pretty far. Uh, what, was, what were you thinking? Did you have a spot you were looking at? No, I just didn't want to, I just wanted to have my own course and take a, a gamble there to just go a bit to the right and then come back. Uh, I wish a couple, guy, couple guys would have gone with me, it would have been easier, but uh, it, was, it was fun. Because yeah. yeah, you, you still were okay until the end, but Mark, you were the first guy to sort of recognize that maybe Os was, <laughs> was taking his own line and maybe not the line that was desired, and you broke off first and kind of took the pack with you. What were you thinking? Well, I know Os has a lot of speed in the pool, but I know he'd never done this race before, and the Tiburon skyline can be deceiving because it's really hard to tell exactly where you're going. I had to take a gamble that I had better sense of direction than he did, and I just uh, turned out just by a couple seconds I made the right decision because if I would have kept following him, we would have been way off. <laughs> now, Brendan Capel, you, uh, you were kind of on Mark's line for a while, and then you, you and... Uh, you and, and Vladimir? No, who? You and Vladimir pulled off and made your own line, which was a, which ended up being the right call in the end. What were you guys thinking at that point? Um, just towards the end, you, you could get a bit of a better side into the into the finish, and I had some pretty good energy left, so I thought I'd have a go. Right. So, uh, have you done this swim before? No, first time here and first time to California. So, what do you think? Yeah, good. I'll definitely come back. Well, second place. Congratulations. Thank you. So I'm here with Callan Keller. She finished second in the race to Chloe Sutton, but it looked like, you know, she was ahead coming into the wall. What happened? Um, I was definitely ahead, but um, there's a reason why I'm a swimmer, because I can't run. I had torn my ACL, so that I just couldn't run, so I just went, walked up the beach. Yeah, we thought there was something wrong with your knee there, or some sort of injury. Um, are you okay now? Yeah, I'm okay. Just had to pop it back in place, so <laughs> I'll stick with the water. The pack actually split off into four different groups. Can you tell us what were you thinking? Which way, which what, how did you decide to stay with the group that you did? Right after the start, I, I think I was in the back of a group of about 12. And then it split off. A couple of guys went to the right, and then the big group stayed uh, right down the center, I think. In a situation like that, I like to stay with the big group because most of the time, uh, more people, it's just faster in, the, in a big group like that. And luckily, the big group went in the straight line this time. When do you decide to come up and run? How do you, how do you know when to get up there? It was, uh, the run was a little bit of a guessing game this time. Normally, we'd come out and do the course once or twice uh, the day before. But this time, this was the first time I've done the finish. So I just had to guess. I was swimming uh, right with Mark Workington. Uh, we both started running at the same time, and, and luckily I was able to finish right in front of him. And as we take a look at the official results in the men's division, Yachen wins again. Brendan Capel from Australia takes silver. Scott Kaufman sneaks by with the bronze. In the women's division, Chloe Sutton successfully defends her title. Callan Keller limps across for the silver medal. And we want to give a special shout out to all the sponsors of the Tiburon Mile. Their help is remarkable. We'll be right back with more of the RCP Tiburon Mile after this.
Well, that wraps up our coverage of this year's Tiburon Mile. Thanks for joining us once again here in the beautiful waters outside of San Francisco. On behalf of my partners, Rowdy Gaines, Johnny Mosley, and Lauren Costella, I say thanks for joining us. It's John Neighbor. So long.